ready for our space launch. Uh, that's tomorrow. What do you mean it's not today? I'm already in the rocket ship! Oh! Again? How many times can I make this mistake? Well, forget it. I'm staying here, Two Eggs, Florida, until we are ready to go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and launch. <laughs> oh, we made it into space again. All right, now to fly this capsule exactly where it needs to go. Landing in three, two, one. Careful, careful. Oh, that hurt. That hurt so bad. landing of that 50 billion dollar space shuttle, right? <laughs> I nailed it. Oh, you did? Oh. Uh oh. Well, at Two Egg, Florida, back at Mission Control, they're gonna be a little bit upset with that. And that's gonna be okay, because I'm Captain Gary, and I've landed on this new magnificent planet. But I have to say, I'm feeling kind of bad about destroying the $50 billion space shuttle. Do you think they'll mind? Oh, man. See, Ima has moved on to more crazy adventures and is no longer at Space Force with us. So she won't be able to help me cover up my mistakes. But one of the things that she taught me was that God always forgives when we make mistakes. And it reminds me of this story. Let me get my little machine here and we'll pull this up and I'll read this story to you guys. Because it's story time with Captain Gary. Story time with Captain Gary. Oh man, I should have an album for sure. So they arrested Jesus. So they arrested him and led him to the high priest's home. And Peter, who was a good buddy of Jesus, followed behind at a distance. The guard lit a fire in the middle of the courtyard and sat around it, and Peter joined them there. A servant girl noticed him in the firelight and began staring at him. Finally, she said, This man was one of Jesus' followers. But Peter denied it and said, Woman? He said, 
I don't even know him. And after a while, Someone else looked at him and said, You must be one of them. And Jesus said, Peter said, No man, I'm not. About an hour later, someone else insisted, This must be the one of them, because he's a Galilean too. But Peter said, Man, I don't know what you're talking about. And immediately, while well, he was still speaking, the rooster crowed. At that moment, the Lord turned and looked at Peter. Suddenly, the Lord's words flashed through Peter's mind, because the rooster, before the rooster crows tomorrow morning, you will deny me three times that you even knew me. And Peter left the courtyard, weeping bitterly. See, what happened was is that Jesus told Peter, you're going to deny me three times. And Peter promised Jesus, it won't happen. Never in a million years will I deny you. And then it happened three times exactly like Jesus said it would. And Peter was so upset. And Peter felt terrible. Sorry guys, we lost you. Sometimes the transmissions up in space get a little bit not so good. All right. So we were talking about Peter. And Jesus told Peter that you're going to deny me three times. And Peter did it. Oh, man. I thought for sure Jesus was going to fire Peter like that was it. He's not going to get no more cool jobs in the church. But Jesus actually forgave Peter. And even neater than that, Jesus told Peter, on you I will build my church. So even though, even though, even though Peter made a huge mistake, Jesus still forgave him and still let him do amazing things in his little company that he was building called the church. And it just makes me think, I hope two eggs won't be mad about this space shuttle. I don't know. Maybe you guys can do me a favor and write some letters to Two Eggs and tell them just how awesome Captain Gary is in the Space Force. Because they need better publicity these days with all the broken equipment that keeps happening and the millions of dollars being wasted. Oh, that's my fault. <laughs> Anyways. Well, cadets, I gotta finish up this mission on this crazy planet. And I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. All right, Captain Gary, signing off. Yes, I'm doing a slow motion exit. That really hurt my ears.